Hi guys, uh, this is Komal and uh, I'll be taking you through uh, our platform uh, which is ProLance. So let me uh, quickly give you a small briefing about our platform. So we are a B2B designed to manufacture SaaS based company where you can execute your project right from the designing till installation and handing over. And uh, uh, let's just quickly start with the demo. So uh, this is our uh, website that is origin.prolance.co.in. So as soon as you come to the website, you have to uh, sign up by giving your credentials over here and then just feed the data here and then log in. As soon as you log in, the very first thing which you see is your dashboard. So in dashboard here in the right hand side section, you can see download Prolance SketchUp extension. So this is where you can download the plugin and mind you the SketchUp has to be 2021 and our version and this installation document will guide you through it. Okay. And also uh, you can see there is a section called inspiration wall. So as soon as you click there this kind of page will open up where you will be able to see all the pre-designed uh, uh, kitchen entertainment unit. Uh, your bedroom and everything so uh, you can download the quotation right away from inspiration wall say if a client walks in and they uh, give some general requirement say the room size budget and style so you can put your filter over here and then relevant design will show up so as soon as you see here uh, you will be able to see the rendered image of that particular kitchen also the estimate including the room type and the style and everything so say the client is liking this particular straight kitchen and you can see the estimate here you just have to say add as soon as you do that it will go and sit in the collection section section just like your amazon cart so from here you can do two things either you can generate a code right away which will be in your powerpoint presentation format or else you can add it to the project and uh, if the client is asking few more modules uh, that needs to be added on top of the one which they have selected you can just create a new project so while uploading this particular inspiration uh, kitchen we have also added skp file along with it so you will be able to access that particular uh, sketchup file and you will be able to do the edits uh, on top of it and you can generate the quotation out of it which you can share it with the client or else if they are okay with this particular estimate you can just go ahead and say add to quote once you do that you have to give your uh, customer name discount if you are giving any and then you have to select the template so as i told you that the powerpoint presentation uh, the quotation will be in powerpoint presentation format so you have to select the template for the same so i'm just going with template one and i'll create so here you can download the PowerPoint presentation which will look something like this so this is completely editable so you can add your own logo and edit it according to your requirement and uh, the third sheet will talk about the summary so whatever uh, estimate you are seeing uh, in the inspiration wall you will be able to see it as well and also since we didn't give any discount percentage so it is zero and then 18 percent gst is added and then the total payable you will be able to see next that is the four sheet will uh, give you the rendered image whatever you you were able to see in the inspiration wall and then rest of the slides will talk about the modules so whatever modules uh, that that were used while doing this particular kitchen everything will be listed down here along with the materials and its modular level costing okay and then eight sheet will talk about the uh, terms and conditions so you can completely edit it according to your firm's uh, requirement and then thank you so this is how the powerpoint presentation uh, is generated right away so this is how the inspiration wall works So uh, that is how our inspiration wall works. So you can also see my ongoing projects. So whatever projects I have created in the last couple of days uh, that will be listed down here. Okay, you can also create a new project just by clicking this button create new. So once you click that you have to give the credentials for the same. So I'm just
then your customer name your city state and supply city so once you're done with that you will say create so once the project is created under the name whatever i have given now it is asking me to add the room so i'll click this button add room this kind of section will open up so this section basically allows you to do the default material settings so uh, again there are two things here one is quick code and another one is sketcher so quick code is another way of generating a, a quotation uh, without actually getting into any kind of design interface okay so uh, what we do in this section is uh, we'll be doing the default material settings so again for generating the quick code we have to select the room type do the material selections and everything add the accessories along with it and you will be able to generate an initial code or a primary code which you can share with the uh, client immediately once that is done uh, when you, uh, you have to do the 3d modeling and you have to generate the final code cut list and production files and everything that time sketchup comes into picture where you'll actually go ahead uh, in the in the sketchup using the plugin you'll be doing the designing and everything you'll be able to get in a click of a button so uh, first we'll start with sketchup then we'll move on to uh, sorry first we'll start with quick code then we'll move on to sketchup so here uh, first we have to select the room type so if you go in the room type in the drop down our library is bifurcated into three major parts that is bedroom dining for living puja kitchen and utility so we'll go with kitchen for now and you have to give some name to it and any kind of description whether it is l, l shaped kitchen parallel kitchen whatever it is and then next so now once the room type is set we have to select the materials so you can see base cabinet wall loft and everything so we have to do the materials so for the base the first thing which is uh, it is asking is to select the core material for the cabinet so if i go in the drop down you can see all the core materials which are available on the platform you can go ahead and do the selections accordingly so i'm going with bwp ply and i'm going with the brand pro lance and then i'm selecting the inner finish as white next comes your shutter color which is basically is your shutter finish so again in the drop down you can see acrylic lacquer glass laminate pu membrane so whatever the client is preferring you can go ahead with that so i'm going with laminate for now again i'm going with the brand marino then comes your uh, variant so since it is kitchen i'm going with high gloss and i'm selecting carnival okay next comes your shutter core so just like the way we selected core material for our cabinet we have to select the core material for our shutters as well so if you go in the drop down again you can see the options here also it depends on the type of finishes you have selected so relevant uh, materials will show up here so i'm going with bwp ply and then i'm going with pro lance again and selecting the shutter design next we'll move to handle so again in the drop down you can see aluminum handle edge profile no handle profile handle so whatever kind of handles uh, you want to take you will go ahead and do the selection so i'm going with g profile next is your hinges and others which is basically is your uh, uh, hardware selection section so here uh, in the pvc leg type if you go in the drop down you can see three options here so no leg is when there is a concrete bed available at site so you can do the selections accordingly or else depending upon your skirting height you can go ahead and do the selections for the pvc legs so i'm going with pvc leg 100 mm similarly for the ss legs also i'm doing this selection then comes your skirting so here you can bifurcate between your pvc legs uh, sorry pvc skirting and then wooden skirting so i'm going with pvc silver then comes your hinge make so we are basically selecting the uh, brands for uh, for the hinges so i'm going with headache hinge type as soft close similarly for the channels also i'm doing the same set of selections okay so once you are through with all this so whatever selections we did till now was just for the base cabinet so now i'll go ahead and say next once that is done it will move to wall it is asking me to do the same set of selections all over again but you see there is an option called copy strings from base cabinet so if i check this box everything from base will be copied to wall but you still have the liberty to go ahead and change whatever you want to uh, change say i want to go with uh, champagne for my shorter color so i'll go ahead and select that anything for that matter you can do that then next it has moved to loft again if i check this box everything from wall will be copied to loft then comes your edge bands so what kind of edge bands you want two side or four side you can do the selections whether it should be matching your shutter or cabinet 
your preference and then your thickness of the edge bands right once that is done you'll go ahead and say save so you can see there's a card created with the name whatever i have given which is completely empty now so if i click this card this section will open up asking you to add the components so if you go here and say add component so you'll be able to see the library so our library uh, contains like more than 3000 modules uh, as of right now and uh, all possible constructions whatever is required uh, for the designing everything is available so uh, whatever kind of modules uh, you require you just have to go ahead and add the filter here so if you see the room type is kitchen handles then your construction and then cabinet type so say i want to uh, add one base cabinet so i'll select base here and then what kind of functionality it should have whether it should be a hob unit sink unit cylinder unit whatever it is you can go ahead and add there so i'm selecting sink so all the uh, sink cabinets will show up here but different uh, varieties uh, as you can see here one shutter two shutter uh, however it is you can go ahead and do the selections so say i want to take this base sink one shutter unit so i'll select that once i select that i have to give the dimensions here in the right hand section so here in the drop down you can see all the standard dimensions but if you want to customize it, you can go ahead and select NS, which is non-standard. So once you do the uh, selection for NS, you have to give your own dimension, which should be within uh, the range that is 100 to 750. Okay. So for now I'm going with standard dimensions. I'm taking 600, depth as 560 and height as 720. Once the dimensions are done, I'll say add. Now it is asking me to add the accessories. So again, in the right hand side top corner, you can do the brand wise selection so you can select headache and uh, headache accessories will show up here so i'm going with this particular dustbin uh, and i'm doing the selection and then i'll go ahead and say add and continue so once that is done you can see uh, the sink unit has been added as a line item and you can also see the modular level costing so this 8733 rupees uh, will include the costing of the accessories and all the materials whatever you selected till now for this particular sink unit okay so if you go here in the drop down you will be able to see all the selections whatever you have done till now for this particular cabinet including the dimension and accessories and everything so like that you can add n number of components of course uh, according to the plan and then um, you can also go ahead and add the loft but here uh, it will come with the carcass that will be your box loft but if you want to add frame loft you just go to frame loft here and add loft and you have to give the dimensions so i'm just randomly giving some dimensions for now so that i can add it to the code right filler as 50 number of shutters uh, let's say six top panel is nothing but is your top filler so again i'm going with 50 and then add so as soon as i do that costing for frame loft according to the dimensions whatever i have given will be added here okay next comes your worktop and skirting so here uh, if you want to add skirting you'll go ahead and click that button add skirting so here you have to give the quantity of pvc skirting strips required so these strips comes in eight feet length so there's a small calculation which goes around here you just have to calculate the length wherever the skirting is required and then you divide it by uh, 2400 mm you will get the quantity so i'm just adding uh, some random number so that i can add it to the quote so quantity is five so five skirting strips of pvc will be costing me this much right next comes your worktop so in the variant you can bifurcate between granite and quartz so can you can go ahead and select whatever you want okay so i'm going with this classic bait and i'll give the worktop area and then select the thickness 20 mm or 40 mm and then add so costing for 45 square foot area of the classic beige will be costing me this much right next comes your additional services so additional services is basically obviously when you are doing an interior project you will not just do the woodwork you will be doing a lot of other stuff like fall ceiling or any kind of civil works like dado tiling and all and also these things needs to be included in the quotation but these are not the services which we are providing from prolance so these are the services which you will provide from your end so you can add it to the quotation just by adding here so say you are doing some kind of fall ceiling so you'll just add the description here as
corn silly and then give the quantity so I'm giving 100 and select your unit square foot and your own rate because these are the services which you are providing from your end and also you can drag and drop a image here if for the reference if required and then add so the costing for that is added here okay next comes your additional hardware so if I go to add hardware, so we already did uh, default uh, hardware selections in the beginning for the components. But if you think that uh, anything extra on top of that is required, say accessories, channels, fasteners, hinges, any extra knobs or anything, for, uh, uh, if, you, if it is required, you can go ahead and do the selections in the category section. So say I want to add some accessories. Again, I can do a brand by selection here. So I'll go with Hetec. So you can see the list of accessories under brand headache will show up here and then you can select whatever you want to and then you will give the quantity here and this will be the rate and then you will say add and continue. So that will be included in the quotation. Right. Once you are through with all this, you will go ahead and say I am done. You can see there is a pricing added here as 67,782 rupees. So this is the pricing of all the things whatever we included till now. Right, so now we have to generate the estimate that is the quotation. I'll go and click this button add quotation. So this kind of page will open up. The very first thing again which you see here is your rate factor. So rate factor is basically, uh, so as you can see whatever price is getting generated here is a base price. So obviously before sharing it with the client, you'll be keeping your own margin on top of it. So that time if you if you want to add any kind of markup here, you can just come here and give your percentage. So say I want to keep a 40% margin on top of the woodwork uh, base price. I'll just go ahead and give 0 0.40. In a similar way, you can go ahead and add in any of these sections. So you have to give some title to it. So I have given Q1. Since we are generating quick code, so I'll select quick code. And then I'll select this room and then i'll say add quotation so an editable excel sheet will be generated which you will be able to download from the document section so you'll just download it here so this is how your uh, quotation is going to look like so uh, it will have four sheets. So the first sheet will talk about uh, the summary. Uh, so here you can see all the material selections, whatever we have done is added here. And then rest of the things are bifurcated uh, as your uh, unit, worktop, services, hardware and everything. And then your installation charges are zero. So you can add it uh, according to your uh, these things. And then your 18% GST and total payable. Okay, so again, it's a completely editable, so you can add your own logo and anything uh, if you want to edit. So second sheet is your square foot costing. So here, uh, what all modules we have selected will be listed down here along with the materials and its square foot area. And you can see the per square foot costing depending upon the uh, material selections you have done. And again, rest of the things are listed down here along with 18% GST, right? The third sheet will give you the modular costing. So since we just added one module, which you can see here, that is a sync unit. All the data is given here along with its modular level pricing, right? And then your loft, worktop, skirting, services, extra additional accessories or whatever we have taken will be added as a line item, okay? And then the fourth sheet will talk about the shades, whatever you have selected. So this is how your uh, quick code is going to look like. Uh, your final code with, uh, which uh, gets generated through SketchUp also looks exactly the same. The format will be same. The only difference will be whatever selections you have done in the SketchUp will show up here. Okay. So this is how the quick code looks like. So now let's move to SketchUp where we'll be doing the 3D modeling. So for SketchUp also, you have to go ahead and add room and make sure you select SketchUp here while doing the selection. So uh, again, you have to do uh, go through the whole exercise of selecting the default materials for the SketchUp as well. Okay, so quick code and SketchUp are not linked. So uh, I have already selected a few materials and I have kept it as a design option. So I'm just selecting that. So in the left hand side, you can see all the materials appeared. So these are the selections which I have done priorly. And then I'll select SketchUp this time. Once that is done, I'll go ahead and say save. So a similar card will be created just like your uh, 
uh, the, the way it, uh, what uh, it was generated for the quick code which is completely empty so now i'll open sketchup So once you uh, open the SketchUp, uh, once you install the uh, plugin, it will come under extension as ProLance. Uh, so uh, the very first thing which you have to do is log in every time you open the SketchUp uh, and whenever you want to work with ProLance. So I'm just logging in. Okay. So now. I'll go to ProLands and projects. So whatever projects or demo, this is the one which we created. So I'll just open that and you can see the same card which was there in the web app as well. So you'll go to these three dots and open in SketchUp. Okay, so now you're inside that project and inside that particular uh, room. So I'll just quickly create one room, one wall. So that we can place the components against that. Okay, so now we have to place the components. So we'll go to extension ProLance and then place components. So this kind of library will show up. So of course we have selected room type as kitchen. So you can see base cabinet, box loft, mid tall unit, tall unit and everything. Similarly, if I move to bedroom, you can see different set of library, which is uh, floor to ceiling, hinged wardrobe, sliding wardrobe. Similarly for the dining, for living, puja, different set of modules will show up here. Okay, so I'm going with kitchen for now. So first, let's say we want to place few base cabinets. So you can see all the modules here. So as I told you that we have like uh, 3000 modules currently available. So you have all possible constructions. So even if you go to one shutter unit, you can see uh, all type of constructions. So uh, wherever you see PTO, that is your push to open mechanism or else uh, here you can see cylinder unit hob unit, sink unit with back panel, without back panel. So every module will have a unique code here, which you can see. So if it is not, if you, if, if you find it difficult to understand, you can just go to that image. It will tell you the description. So this particular cabinet is base cylinder unit with one shutter. So like that, you can select the modules uh, based out of the description and the requirement. So I'm going with this one shutter unit and I'm giving the dimensions here as 500, 560 as depth and 720 as height. And then we'll go ahead and select the customs. I'll go next, select the cabinet accessories. So I'm selecting this wooden removal shelf and then I'll go ahead and say place. So once I click place, this kind of module will show up here based out of whatever material selections you have done. So you can see, and by using basic SketchUp operations, you can place your modules wherever you want. So here you can see the module with PVC leg and the carnival laminate and everything with the handles and all. Okay. So say I want to place one more module. So I want to place a bottle pullout. So this is the bottle pullout. I'll go ahead and select that cabinet, give the dimensions. So I'm going with width 300. So depth and height, as you can see, is already, already selected. So whatever dimensions you have given for your first cabinet for the depth and height, it will be automatically selected. You just have to give the width, select your accessories. So again, you can do a brand by selection here on, at the top. So I'm going with headache. So I'm taking headache cargo 300 series and cabinet accessories. So I don't want any accessories. So now I want this bottle plow to go and sit on the right side, uh, right side of the one which I have already placed. So I just have to select that particular cabinet. And as you can see, there are two arrows here. So if I want this to go and sit on the right hand side, I'll select right arrow or else I'll select left. Okay. So I've selected right arrow. So like that, your cabinet will go and sit on the right hand side. Okay. So similarly, uh, let's place one wall cabinet also. So as you can see, there are a lot of options here. You have aluminum glass shutters, wooden glass shutters, lift ups and uh, 
L corner, blind corner. So I'm going with this two shutter glass unit. I'm giving the dimensions here as 800 depth, 306 height. And then next, select the accessories. So I'm selecting no accessories since I don't want any accessories for that. And then I'll go ahead and say place. So once I press place, my module will come here. And if I select any one of the base unit which I have placed, it will go and sit right on top of it, aligning from the left hand side. So I am selecting this one shutter units as you can see it went and sat on top of it aligning from the left hand side how that happened was uh, i have given an elevation of 1400 here so it is maintaining the distance from the uh, bottom as 1400 so that it leaves a gap of 600 for the dados okay so like that you can place your components so the uh, library is pretty huge you can download yourself and you know explore yourself as well i'll show you other functionalities which we have on our platform so say i want to generate skirting Okay, so we'll just go to extension pro lance and then generate skirting. So in a click of a button, you'll be able to generate skirting. Not only it is getting generated here, it is also getting calculated in the back end. So you don't have to worry about the length and all. And uh, now we want to place worktop. So I'll just select all the base cabinets, wherever the worktop is required. Go to pro lance and then generate worktop. So this kind of window will open up where again you can bifurcate between your uh, granite and quartz so i'm going with this i'm selecting the thickness giving the backsplash as 75 and then i'll say apply so as you can see the worktop is generated okay so uh, there are a lot of edit functionalities which we have uh, i'll show you a couple of them so as you can see uh, this is the visible panel so i want this to match with the shutter so how to do that just go to extension pro lance and then edit exposed panel color and select that particular panel you can also do multi selects and double click as soon as i do that this window will open up where you have to give the exposure so i'm going with one side and then that laminate is already selected for you you just go ahead and say apply so this kind of visible panel will be changed matching to the shutter similarly you can change your shutter colors also so just go to extension pro lance and then edit shutter color select your shutter and double click again select the exposure just the way it did for the exposed panel and select whatever color you want this to be changed for so i'm going with um, show and apply so like that we can change your shutter colors also okay uh, say you want to edit any any of the panel in this particular component okay so there might be a beam uh, or a column running through and you want to edit this particular cabinet you want to customize it according to the site so if i select that cabinet extension pro lance and then edit variable so what all panels are there in this particular module will show up here and also what all edits you can do will be listed down here you just have to come and give the values okay so uh, say i want to increase the uh, shutter uh, by say 50 mm so i'll just go to shutter bottom extension i'll give 50 if i want it to be decreased i'll give minus 50 like that it works and i'll say apply As you can see, the shutters of this particular module uh, has been increased by 50 mm. So like that, you can customize your components uh, after placing the uh, components in the SketchUp. So, so these are few functionalities which we have on our software. So I'll show you how to uh, generate 2D layouts. Okay. So for generating 2D layouts, you can just import uh, this file to SketchUp layout and you will be able to generate the 2d drawings how to do that first you will select all the whole module including the walls and everything you go to extension pro lance and then create 2d views so basically we are creating scenes here okay so once you click that you will click any of the shutter of that particular elevation and in the drop down you can see what all views you can create so you can create plan view for base wall loft and elevations also so i am creating elevation for now so i have selected elevation a i'll say okay so you can see Elevation A has been created as a scene which you can see here. Similarly for the internals also uh, that is without the shutter how the cabinets are going to look like it will show up here. Okay. So once that is done now we will go to extension pro lance 
and then generate to be layout so this will be imported in sketchup layout so what all edits uh, you have done after placing uh, it in the sketchup everything will be captured it will show up in the uh, layout including the dimensions for all the modules and all your uh, modules position will be numbered and uh, all the accessories whatever you have selected there will be listed down okay so i'll just open the layout So this is the layout. So again, these pages are completely editable. You can add your own logo and your own data. And the second sheet will talk about the default specifications. So what all materials you have selected in the web app, everything will be listed down here along with the uh, codes and everything. And then all your shutter colors. Then comes your 3D view, which you can completely edit however you want and then comes your elevation a so here you can see all your modules uh, dimensions are given along with the uh, position which i was talking about which you can see here and uh, here in the ledger you'll be able to see what kind of cabinets these are along with the dimensions depth and everything okay so this is basically is your 2d drawing and then comes your elevation a internal so without the shutters how your cabinets are going to look like then comes your list of consolidated cabinet ca cabinets and so what all cabinets you have placed in the sketchup everything will be listed down here so what all edits you have done will be captured so as you can see uh, shutter color then your uh, exposed panel color and everything then comes your list of uh, shutter accessories and list of cabinet accessories and then your wooden special shutters so since we selected uh, two shutter glass units for the wall cabinets you can see here all the dimensions glass type handle location all the data will be given here okay so this is how your 2d uh, layouts are going to look like so once that is done now we have to generate the estimate so you will just go to extension prolance and then generate estimate So this is how your estimate will be generated. So all the modules are listed down here along with the dimensions and its modular level costing also you'll be able to get. So this particular module is going to cost me 22,844 rupees. So uh, here you can see um, for every cabinet, there is a state is called success. So if you have not uh, placed any of your modules properly, it will show you a bug. So you have to make sure all your cabinets say success, then only your module will be included in the quotation or else uh, it will not be. Okay. So now once the estimate is generated, we'll go back to our web app. I'll just refresh my page. So you can see 22,845 rupees has been updated here. So now in exact same format how we generated our big code, you will go ahead and say add to code, give your title and then select SketchUp this time since it is uh, through SketchUp, I'll select that particular room and then add quotation. So the format of this quotation will be exactly the same. So I'll not repeat myself. I'll just go ahead with the cut list. So this is how it is going to look like all the modules are given along with the shapes right so this is the final code so now we'll move to cut list so for cut list you will go to services design outputs and select your project so this is the one which we created so you can see all the codes how much of our codes we have generated in this particular project will be given here so q2 was the one we generated for the sketchup so i'll just select that particular code and generate the uh, cut list and production files for that so i'll go back so wherever we were getting our uh, uh, quotations there only we'll get our design details also so you just have to download it it will be in zip format so like that you'll be able to get the list of excel sheets so the first two will be your uh, design reports for the whole project okay and also you'll be able to generate design reports room wise also so the first sheet will give you the list of hardwares and your consolidated 
list of hardwares and materials. So this is the list of hardwares, all the description, manufacturing code, quantity, unit cost, total cost, unit rate, everything will be given here. Then comes your cut list. So this cut list is again for the whole project. So as I told you that every module uh, is having a unique name here. So as you can see this particular panel belongs to this particular code that is B1S which is base one shutter unit and also in the 2D layouts if you have noticed that all the modules were positioned. So that position will also be given here and then your external shade, your panel code, internal shade and your board name. So these are the board names uh, which will be unique for every individual panel. Then comes your width, height and thickness and then comes your edge band details width wise, length wise. Okay. So this is how your cut list will look like for every panel you will have a data. Then comes your consolidated materials. So what all materials we have selected uh, and what all modules we have placed accordingly you will be, get a, will be getting a list of materials. This is the finished sheet which is again in the description as you can see. Then your usage, usage your wastage and the number of sheets. Similarly for the surface material also you will get a data like that and for the edge bands also. So this is the list of materials. Okay. This is again for the whole project. So now the second sheet is your CSV file, which is your uh, in the CSV format. So it has a lot of data. It can also be used as a cut list as you can see finished length, finished width and everything. So if you uh, edit it according to your CSV format and run through sheet optimizer, you'll be able to uh, generate an optimization layout. So uh, I'll show you the output for this. So if you go, this is the output. So like that for every individual panel, you will get an output with the wastage percentage here. So as I was talking about in the cut list, every panel will have its unique name. So this is the name here. You will get your cutting length and cutting width and everything. So for every individual panel, you will have a layout, right? So this is the output of that CSV file. And then is your design reports for which is room wise so what all modules we placed uh, in the sketchup we were just three so you can see all the modules with the description and uh, dimensions then comes your assembly sheet so in assembly sheet for every individual module whatever material that is the panel and hardware is required for for, for that particular module will be given to you. So here you can see panels with the width, length and thickness, then your hardware, hardware's along with the quantity you can see here. Okay. So for every individual module, you will have a list like that. Then comes your consolidated item. So in the, in the first uh, Excel sheet, which I showed you that was for the whole project and this will be just for this particular room. So you will again have a list of uh, hardwares. Uh, then comes your uh, frame shutter. So uh, whatever uh, frame shutter you might have selected, its width, height and thickness will be given to you. Then comes your cut list. So I have already explained it to you in the beginning, which will look exactly the same. This is just for this particular room. Similarly for the materials also. Then comes your module wise panel prices. So whatever panels are there in that particular module will be listed down here. So this is the uh, module that is base one shutter unit. All the panels are given here and with its board name and how, how much that particular panel is going to cost. So as you can see laminate price, wastage, edge band price, everything will be given here. For every panel you will have a list like that and for every individual module you will have a panel wise pricing. Similarly for the hardwares also. So module wise hardware list will be given to you including the quantity and its unit rate and then total rate. So this is how your design details are going to look like. Okay. So 